Crafter, the DV5 design system has a new update, and I know you're going to love this. We are on version 1.2 now. But before I show you all the updates, I want to talk about something very important. Now, UI design has been something that I've been really looking at very, very closely because I really wanted my designs to look very professional. And over the years, I couldn't work out why some websites look very professional and some just look mediocre. And I realized that there's a formula to this. So in this example, I want to show you a spacing formula. So for example here, you notice that the spacing between the price and the title here is 8 pixels. And then here is 24. And then down here is 24. And in between it's 16. Now these numbers are not random. And I'll show you why. That is because with UI designers, they use what is known as a spacing scale. And this one here is based on four pixels. So you can see here that there's four, eight, 12, 16, 24, and so on. So as we, designing our, as we design our websites in Divi, this is what we need to implement. Now, the challenge that we have when we design websites using Divi is it gives us a basic scale, which is not based on anything. For example, if we were to create a basic design like this, this is what you get out of the box with Divi. And then over here is what you get when you customize it. And I'm sure you can agree with me that the one on the right looks much better and is pleasing to the eye. That is because I used a spacing scale. Let's take a look here at the top. Same thing. The one on the left is what you get when you add all your elements out of the box with Divi. And then over here is what you get when you use the spacing scale. And you can see some of the elements here are shown. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use a spacing scale. And But now, before I do that, I want to show you the updates. So for those of you that have version 1, you'll realize that Okay, we have all these headings and so on, and they're all fluid. Everything is based on fluid uh, clamp. And as a designer from this moment onwards, if you're using this design system, there's no need to work with breakpoints. And that's the unique selling points with Crafter, DV5 design system. So what we've added are the headings. So you'll notice that we have custom headings for those of you that want to design things that are large on for I mean for large screens. Well, we have this and it is also fluid and I'll show you in a moment. Next, we have our buttons here. But what's unique about these buttons is they adjust the size or they reduce size based on screen size. Now, let me show you quickly how that works. So I'm just going to go into inspect here. And then I want you to take a close, very close look. In fact, we might as well do these two, the headings and the buttons. Take a close look at these two. So as I'm making this smaller, you're going to start noticing that the buttons are getting smaller. I know it's not apparent right now. And the headings are also getting smaller and smaller. Look at the buttons. Do you see that? Look at the headings. So I haven't used any other setting apart from what the design system has. No breakpoints, adjustments, nothing. Now look at this. It's getting smaller and smaller. Look at the headings. Look at the buttons. Do you see that? Do you see that? Isn't that amazing? Look at that. Look at the headings. Look at the buttons. So when you get to a stage where you are designing for mobile devices, you'll notice that your buttons, you just need to set them once, and that's it. No need to do anything else. And like I mentioned before, this is what makes Crafter, the design system, very, very unique. It's going to save you so many hours in designing. And not only that, you're also going to get consistent looking websites. And this is what UI designers use. In fact, if you're a UI designer, please let me know in the comments box below uh, what you think about our design system. Okay, so going further down here, you notice that we have the colors here. So as you're designing, it's going to be just a click to get black and white and sepia tone for your images. Very cool update. Now, there's also an update here. Previously, we only had these for the spacing scale, the fluid spacing and padding. But we've also added padding bottom, which is also very, very important as we're designing. So you have your small, extra small, medium, and so on, and extra large. Next, we also have semantic colors. Now, as you're designing, there are situations where if someone signs up, for example, and uh, it's a successful uh, sign up, 
you use this green to show that everything is all good. If it's a warning or perhaps maybe a payment has failed, you may want to do your design using this um, bright orange color. And if there's an error somewhere somehow or the login is incorrect, you want to use this red and so on. So this is also a very, very good addition to this. Further down here, we also have our spacing and this is for the rows. So 1366 is what I normally use for my normal rows, but there's also full. And this is also ideal in designing. Now, you may be thinking, well, are these only the updates? Absolutely not, because there's also other updates that I cannot show here, but they are in the design system. So first of all, if you want to upgrade to version 1.2, the best way at the moment, because as you know, Divi is in beta, the best way is to install this version on a brand new website, on a brand new DB5 website, because if you override the presets, well, you're going to have a duplicate of all the presets. In fact, I am going to do a video about this, and I hope DV5 uh, has, um, I mean, implements this for their final release. We need to have an, a, uh, a way to go in and um, manage all our presets. All right, so to install it on a brand new website, we're going to come over here. Now, this is... Crafter 1.2, that's the site. So this time around, instead of uh, dragging and dropping the, pre, uh, the, um, the framework, we are now going to add it onto our library. And I noticed that the library is much better because then you can have this on several websites. So we're going to come over here to Divi, and then we're going to go to the library. So here it is, Design Library. Next, you're going to click on Import and Export. And then we're going to come over here to Import. So the next thing we need to do is to make sure that you have import presets selected. And then you're going to come over here to choose the file. Now, I've already downloaded it, and you're going to notice that we have Crafter 1.2. That's the file you need to be looking for. So you need to unzip it, and when you unzip it, you're going to get this file here called Crafter1.2.json. Okay? Next, we're going to say open. Now, it's important that we do it this way. If you try to... Uh, drag and drop this on an existing page it will not work so you need to make sure that you do it this way so now i'm going to say import divi builder layout and there we go now it has been imported which is brilliant i don't have to do anything else i'm just going to refresh this and make sure that it is there okay fine now we have the uh, the crafter design system the next stage now is to make sure that uh, we create a brand new page so i'm going to say add page And this could be probably a brand new design. So I'm just going to say new design. So at first, you're going to get uh, a basic layout, but you need to go in and make some customizations to your, um, your variables. So let's say I want to design something very, very basic here. I'm going to go in. I'm going to set my two columns here. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to add in this column here is the image. And then I'm going to add a heading. I'm going to select it. And then we're going to add a paragraph text. So I'm going to click on this plus button and then search for text. Um, we may even want to add a button here. How about that? Okay, so we're going to add a button like that. So that's our basic layout. Now, as you can see, this is what you get out of the box with Divi. Now, this is not right. Because even if you come over here to your variables, you go to your fonts and you change your fonts, maybe perhaps you want to use, um, let's say, enter for my headings. And then for the body text, let's say you want to use poppins. We're going to go ahead and select that and then save. Apply changes. Okay. So for now, I'm, I'm going to publish this. Okay, so you can see now that my changes have been applied, which is fantastic. So my fonts are now there in place. The next thing I'm going to do is to duplicate this design so I can show you how it needs to be designed properly. So I'm just going to go back to my row settings. And this is the second column, which has nothing in there. So I'm just going to delete that and then duplicate it. Okay, so over here on the right, I'm now going to go and customize this. So first of all, let's add an image. So I'm going to come over here. And we need to upload an image from, from my computer. OK, 
Okay, so I'm going to use this as my image. And then I'm also going to do the same over here on the right. Select that and upload image. Okay, great. So now to customize this and to really use our framework to then come up with a beautiful looking design, we now need to go in here and customize this. So first of all, I'm going to go in here and change my heading. So I'm going to select it. And then over here on the design, I'm going to choose, let's say, heading three. Okay. I know it has just gone small. It doesn't matter. We need to go in and customize because we have our presets. So we're going to come over here. And then we're going to select heading three. And you can see there, there is a change compared to the one on the left. Next, we're going to come over here to our paragraph text. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to go to text. And you can see here, I have my body text. And pretty much everything here is in place. Okay. So now I have my proper text. And then over here on the button, we also have our button presets. Now for the buttons, you need to come over here to the top because this is where the button presets are. So we have the pill. We also have the, just the button primary. So I'm going to go with the basic one, button primary. And you can see it has taken on the um, the design that we have in our presets now we're not done yet because of course the spacing is not right and again this is where our design system kicks in so if i now go to the actual column which i can do by coming over here to row settings layout oops content and then elements so we want to reset the sizes or the spaces in our second column which is the one that we're working on right now so let's go in here like that click on edit item and then i'm going to come over here to design and then over here on the layout i can click here on this little button here and assign my preset so i'm going to say reset so you're going to notice now that everything now has just pretty much um no spaces okay so the first thing I need to do, and if we take a look here at uh, our design system, or at least the idea that we have in our design system here, I'm just going to move over so you can see what, um, what they recommend. So you can see that the spacing between the image and the title is 24, and then here we have 8. So if we want to, uh, let's say, mimic what we have there, we can say, okay, here is our main text. And then we're going to go to our spacing and we're going to go to our margin top. So margin top, we're going to set this to margin top medium. Okay. And then over here now for the paragraph, we're going to set this to extra small because the heading and my paragraph text relates to each other. So I'm going to select this and then I'm going to now go to spacing again then let's choose extra small margin top extra small okay do you see that so far it's looking way much better than the one we have on the left in terms of the spacing and then finally is the button here so i'm going to go in and spacing again so margin top so now you can decide you know what you're going to do are you going to go small because even if you go small it still looks really nice but if you want to change this it's very easy to change i can just click in here and then i'm going to say medium and now i have medium here on the top medium here between the buttons and my design is pretty much almost complete so just to make sure that we have a similar size here i'm just going to go in and uh, make sure that my paragraph text here is right there we go okay so now look at the two you can you can pretty much see that there is a big difference between the two the one on the left uh, doesn't look right but now we want to take this design to the next level let's say you want to add some padding around this and I want to show you the power of our design system so if I go back into my row settings I can go to oops I keep uh, going to layout you need to go to elements and then over here now you need to click on column so the first thing we're going to do here is to add a background color because i want this to be dark or if you want you can make it light so i'm just going to click here and you're going to notice that we have our background here dark okay and we also have oops our basic background that comes with this but if you want to add the dark one you just uh, select the dark like that next we want to um add a bit of padding around this design so we're going to come over here to design and again 
we need to be under spacing. But this time, instead of using margins, we are going to use padding. And the padding we're going to use applies pretty much everywhere. So we can start off with padding small. And you notice that uh, the spacing around this is quite small. But if you feel like, okay, you know what, that doesn't look right, you can just go in and go with padding medium. And I think that looks much better. Now, at this stage, if you want to add some rounded corners, you can go to border. And then you can go for radius extra small. Or you can choose a radius small like that. Now, it's the uh, text that you need to work on. So let's go to our text here. And if we click in here, we notice that we have uh, the imported one. Okay. In fact, we may need to change the name. And while we're here... I am going to actually change the name so you can see that it's very, very easy to go in and customize this. So I'm going to say for this body imported, I'm going to click on this gear icon and rename it. So I'm going to say body. Okay. And uh, let's call it body main. Okay. Now for the paragraph, I am going to assign this to default because I want this to be the default when I whenever I create my paragraph text. And this is how you can also go in and uh, customize this or update it. So now I've saved the preset. Whenever I go now, I can just pretty much do that. And you can see I have body main and that is my main preset. So the same applies here if you go to your headings. If you want to make any changes to the headings, you can just click anywhere in here. And by the way, uh, all these are ready you know, to be... Um, adjusted or changed so you can pretty much go in there and make those changes anyway this is uh, pretty much how the design system works i am going to continuously update this and if you want to uh, use this design system it's going for 77 dollars now this also comes with a bonus which is your um, starter template which has your 404 page your search results page your archive pages so basically this package here saves you so much time when it comes to designing websites with divi now this design system is pretty much all you need in order for you to design awesome professional looking websites get this now because um i'm going to make um, additions to this and i'm also going to have packages that are uh, pre-designed using uh, Crafter. So the price is going to go up uh, soon once I design all those, uh, all those um, elements. So if you lock yourself on $77, definitely you're going to get all those updates absolutely free. And when the price goes up, you don't have to pay any extra. And also, if you are someone who uses Divi, I also have a Divi course. It's going for $47. This course is called Divi 5 Mastery. So if you head over to Divi University and you go to courses, this is where the course is. You can see here uh, it has over a 1,000 students. So this course gets you up and running super fast with Divi. No guesswork. There's no need to... Um, spend so much time uh, trying to go to through documentation to learn how to use Divi. This course pretty much covers everything. And the Crafter Design System is also going to come with a course and it's going to be very, very easy for you to use. So this is the update. Uh, go ahead, check it out. The link to that is also in the video description below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.